Guys, there's new levels of embarrassment every day for us to look forward to. God damn. Okay. The Griff God is here. We got more grifting to do. We got to talk about Dragon Age. The, 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 the release date for Dragon Age is swiftly coming. It's almost upon us. And with every new story that comes out about this game, Griff Griff, you just have to think there's no way. They're going to delay this, right? Griff Griff. I don't think they are. Dragon Age Vilgard is desperate to boost day one numbers. Partner with N NVIDIA to bundle the game. Oh, they partner with NVIDIA to bundle the game for subs to their Geo4 experience. Having done these types of deals before, including appearing on the AMD driver launcher installer, I can say they are poor value for marketing. They don't target you specific, your specific type of gamer and are limited to only the most recent sales of GPUs or installs, or in this case, new subs to NVIDIA, which are limited in quality. Quantity, I'm sorry. You only make these types of deals to try to boost player numbers for a very short time, and they don't really work. God damn. Mm. Nigga. Okay. Let's, let's go to that park place. Shouts out to that park place, as always. Think about all the best-selling games over the years, huh? How many of them have had to partner with a streaming service in order to sell their game? Think about the best. Like, we're talking about Space Marine sold well. Black Myth Wukong sold well. Stellar Blade sold well. Hogwarts Legacy stole, uh, stole, wow, sold well. Uh, uh, who else? Grand Theft Auto sells well every time. Call of Duty sells well. Um, Baldur's Gate sold well. Elden Ring sold well. Hell, all the Souls games sold well. How many of them needed to actually partner with someone to help get their games in the hands of others? We got games that ain't lowered their prices in 10 years. I'm looking at you, Breath of the Wild, nigga. Ten years. And y'all got to partner with niggas <laughs> to sell your game? This ain't looking good. Asses are being taken. Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm going to use that clip. I'm going I'm to use it. I'll get used to it. The same way I used to use squabble, I'm using the asses being taken. I'm sorry. Okay? Sue me. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, God. On this blog, NVIDIA shared Fight for Thetis future at ultimate quality this fall as new and existing members who purchase six months of GeoForce Now Ultimate can get Bioware and Electronics Arts, Electronic Arts, Epic RPG, Dragon Age, RPG. RPG? Shit don't look like an RPG to me. The Vilgar for free when it releases on October 31st. The GeoForce Now Ultimate Bundle costs 99. Who? Who? I'm not paying for the. I'm not paying. Oh, cuz? Nah, cuz. I'm good. What do I even get with this? GeoForce, GeoForce RTX 480 rig, exclusive access to RTX 480 servers, eight hour session length, up to 4K resolution, up to 120 frames per second, no ads. I don't even know what this stuff does. What does this do? I mean, what does this do? What does this do? Nigga, $99? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. This bundle announcement comes in the wake of numbers. Wake of number of metrics indi indicating that the game's pre order sales are not uh, doing well and interest in the game is low. Craig. Craig. God, stuttering Craig, goddammit. <laughs> the host and the owner of Side Scrollers Podcast on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, we already know about the pre order numbers, okay? We already know about that. There's no need to rehash that. But this is actually, this is, this is embarrassing for you, Bioware. This is embarrassing. This is supposed to be one of your flagship games. And this hurts me, right? This, this really hurts me because as somebody who recently got into the Mass Effect series when they did the remaster, which was golden, by the way. Shouts out to y'all for that. I might actually play that 
on stream. I'm anxious to get back into that. I was looking forward to the next Mass Effect installment, but we knew we wasn't going to get that if Dragon Age wasn't going to hit. And you know how EA is. They'll shut y'all niggas down in a hot second. Well, EA has been changing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to... Let me get a Don DeMarco for EA. Don DeMarco. Their reputation has kind of late... As of lately, at least come back to the middle ground. Now, I don't know about all this DEI stuff, but I don't want to put that on EA simply because everybody in the industry is doing it. But I mean... I mean, look at this. If this game doesn't he do her, well... And they then... But he, him, she, her... And they them and then your gender is man woman non-binary love that love the inclusivity top surgery scars are also included in this for all of our trans and non-binary rooks out there i absolutely was blown away by this um it's, it's it's beautiful to see the inclusion in the game and to see yourself represented but he i need to see myself i, I need to see my i love to see myself represented i've never seen myself represented so fuck out of here man where's that clip at hold up no lord of the rings before so <laughs> this is awesome because i've never seen myself <laughs> jesus christ i need to see myself shit is embarrassing bro shit is embarrassing i need to see myself represented jesus fucking christ Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. As always, may the griff be with you. I'll talk to y'all. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh!